our truly faithful video broadcast. It's your man, Pav, and my lovely wife, Octavia, or OAV as y'all love to call her. And we got one other person. Priya, <laughs> she's here, y'all. Give her a hand. I, I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. All right. Hi, y'all. It's been a long time. Like Iron Man said, oh, it's great to be back. It is. I know it's been like, it's been over a year since we uh, came to y'all through video. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry that about that. That means something's getting ready to happen with one of our children's getting ready to come out because, and that was Prince's picture that fell. Uh oh, it's coming. <laughs> Along with Precious. So. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, it's been a while since we talked to you all via video, and we're just doing this video because we want to give you all some updates on what's going on, on our page, website, everything. What's this. going on? <laughs> and. We're going to be She's talking. been looking at you the whole time, I'm mad at We're going to be talking just a little bit about a few things, so hopefully it will encourage and, and you can learn some things from that. But other than that, we're going to get started, tell you what's new, even though it's not the beginning of 2013. We're going to tell you some things that's going to be going on from here on. Yes. As the Lord leads us, of course. Um, so let's start off with um, our page, our Truly Faithful page on Facebook. We're not posting as much as we used to. Right, because we're going to start doing more right what you're looking at. Videos. <laughs> we're going to start letting y'all see us more. We're going to start, you know, we're going to, um, we're going to do some, some new things. going to be trying some out some new things, seeing how y'all like it. Uh, we're going to be in different, you know, maybe different location here and there. We're just going to be doing more variety of stuff where y'all can uh see us you know more uh you'll be able to see uh oev's new outfits new rings new hairstyles and all kind of stuff boys got yeah what new outfits and rings I, where's the stuff oh <laughs> i got a little carried away but you might see, you're gonna see some new stuff um one of the reasons <laughs> we're not posting as frequent on our pages we used to we used to post uh, in the beginning, we posted here and there, and then as we got busier, we posted every day, seven days a week, and then we began to post twice a day throughout the week, and then, you know, at least once a day on the uh, weekends. Um, and then we went down, after I became pregnant with Miss Priya last year, we went down to five days a week, and we took the weekends off, but now the Lord has, had, um, has it where it's... it's sporadic in a sense it's like we may post something on a Monday we may not post again until Thursday and I think the Lord is really just replenishing us and uh, we're in a transition of something else we'll share that with you all mm -hmm. um, a little later just something else in our own personal lives that um, so we're only posting as he leads and even sometimes I find myself trying to force something it won't work I'm one of those people who um, when I write I'm one of those people who if it's not God if it's not something that's really moving me to write it just won't come out right. It won't even make sense. So if it don't um, fit, don't force it. Right. That's so not, that's not in the word. I'm just that's just a saying. But that's true. If it doesn't that's fit, true. don't don't force it. It's, and it just means uh, for us, it could mean um, you know, if it's not the Holy Spirit leading us, this is not if it's not something that's really going to encourage you or something that um, it's going to really teach you know, basically, if it's not, you just it's just you're not being led. Don't do it. Just wait. Just yeah. wait on the Lord and, and, and whatever that is in your life, by the way. Um, but then, for yeah. us, that's what's going on with our page. Yeah, and then better yet, if it's not God, don't call it God. Yes, you're going to go do something. That's your business, what you yeah. do. Don't be saying, God told me. <laughs> God didn't tell you. Yeah. Go jump off that cliff. He's going to catch you. No. That's just an example. There we go. As I knew it. it. There's one of the pictures that fell right there. I knew he's, <laughs> he's standing in the hall right there. Hey, little mama. Um, okay, next, um, we will be doing more videos. We will, um, one of the things the Lord gave us to do, he gave us this a couple of months ago when I first shared it with my husband, and it was like it hit him the same way it came to me, is that we will be doing little small daily videos um, that's normally going to be five minutes or less. They're just like little small snippets, and it will mm -hmm. mostly be of us together, of course, because we're, we represent truly faithful, of course. Right. And every so often it may just be my husband, or every so often it may just be me. 
um, him encouraging the men, me encouraging the ladies, something like that. Um, but that's a small update that's coming. Um, hook up with us on Twitter. You'll see all the information at the end of the video. We're going to be doing more Twitter. We're having a Twitter party soon. That's coming. We're not saying it's coming like next week or next month, but that's something else that's coming. And what else, babe? More Skype. That's right. We're going to be seeing a lot more, y'all. We're going to be hearing some more accents. I want to hear your accents. I want to hear your uh, talking. Skyping. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be eating more bones. Okay, let, let's talk about that. I might even eat a bone right there on the video. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get some marrow going. I might have some marrow stir fry. That's a good recipe. Oh. Y'all stop that laugh. Y'all know that ain't funny. Stop laughing. I am, I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, <laughs> since we're talking about bones, you know, th there was this funny post that I saw on a Facebook friend's page. And I thought it was hilarious. I didn't know if it was really true or not, but it was hilarious. It showed the way white people eat chicken, fried chicken. It's like they leave, you know, a little meat at the top and bottom of the of the chicken bone. Mm -hmm. Black people, we clear the whole bone, but, you know, we leave the bone. I think they had Ghana. Ghana. They yeah. eat the top. They eat all the meat off the chicken, and they eat the top and the bottom part of the chicken of the bone and leave, like, a little, you know, the bone. And then Nigeria was, like, no chicken on that picture. Yeah, just a, <laughs> just a blank spot. Just a blank spot. And all of a sudden, the people that started responding was talking about how, yes, we eat the bones. We don't waste these. And I was like... You eat the bones? I, I had never heard of that in my life, y'all. Yes. Ever. They eat the bones. And so now he didn't ate when it ate a bone, and everybody's like, "Okay, OEV, it's your turn." I'm like, "No, it's not. We're not taking turns in eating bones." Gabon. I am not Nigerian. No. Guinean. Lagos. Well, I'm so Black American. Yes. And I let me just tell y'all, it's not. I'm not eating. I'm gonna say it like this. I ain't eat no bones. From no chicken. I'm just not gonna do it. No, I'm not. Stop saying it. I'm not. No. We're gonna fly. Okay, so the next thing we were talking about was <laughs> Skyping. <laughs> we're gonna be Skyping more with you all. We're gonna be doing some more appointments. I mean, doing more appointments as well as leaving the lines open for you all to call us. God is moving us in a direction to be more available with ministry that mm -hmm. is here locally as well as through our page and uh, Facebook and um, uh, website. That's yeah. another thing. And by yeah. the way, when we say Skype, that includes Uvu as well. Okay. Yes, Uvu. It's just that most have Skype and not Uvu. We have a few that's on Uvu, but not not very many at all. Um, so you got the best of both worlds. You got Uvu, doing, or you got Skype. Shoot, shoot. That's how it it hangs <laughs> up. <laughs> when the call goes <laughs> off, it hangs up. Um, we had a an awesome brother in the Lord who built us a beautiful website. And we're, we've been working with him. We're going to, um, hopefully we can get this done very soon. We're going to be updating and uploading our new website, y'all. It's really nice. And we're going to be putting our Truly Faithful t-shirts on there. Yeah. Which is look coming. Out. Yes. You guys are going to want to get those. Um, <laughs> yeah, you got to have them. Put them on your nice, chest. Put them on your back. It's going to say what you mean on the front. It's going to say what's happening on the back. It's, Get ready for them, y'all. We got some really good nice. stuff coming up. They're really, really nice. Now watch um, this. Yeah, keep what? talking about it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish. No, I'm what? not gonna forget. I'm not gonna forget what I was gonna say. Okay. Um, right. but these shirts will be for sale if you would like to buy them and wear them where you are and just represent truly faithful. Yeah. Um, because really, truly faithful is from the Lord, so it's not like you'll be representing us. Yeah. It's just and that you represent what Truly Faithful truly stands for. Um, but yeah, it, it's just another way uh, for us. And most of y'all know I'm I'm home with the babies. My husband is the one that works outside the home. And um, selling t-shirts will actually help us um, to be more available because we yeah. won't be have to, having to worry about finances so much. Sure, y'all remember what we all went through and just came out of. Thank oh, the Lord. Oh, oh. Thank um, God. He but, sent a key and set yes, us free. Yes, he did. He sent a key, set us free, uh, give us us free. Give us a free. This is what happens when Give you us eat us chicken free. bones. Give this is it. why I'm not eating any. And yeah, the, it's the marrow. The, the marrow. It's the marrow. Duck down and the food is ready. <laughs> it's the down. marrow. Down. It's the marrow. See, this is why I won't be eating any chicken. Marrow. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't, I can't. I bet that's, I bet y'all are over there like having all this fun after eating some chicken bones. So, 
know. Talking with Jesus and bought the chicken bone. See? Y'all have got him started. He's in an unbelievably good mood. You notice he's not falling asleep or anything. Y'all, because of the changes that um, has happened in our life, we're, we're going to share that with you all. But Yes. We will <laughs> share with y'all. He'll be right back. He's just taking, we, we're baking some um, tilapia. Or is it catfish? We're baking some fish. So, so good. I um, have to share that with y'all on my personal page. Okay, so um, we're going to be Skyping and Ubuing more, all right? And we're going to leave that information at the end of the video of our um, Skype, Ubu, as well as, what else will we leave? Um, we'll, we'll leave the information that you all need. It's, I believe... <laughs> On Ubu, it's just truly faithful, altogether one word. And on Skype, it's B, period, or dot, truly, dot, faithful. So that's our um, Skype and Ubu, our Ubu and Skype ID. Truly faithful, one word for Ubu, and B, dot, truly, dot, faithful for Skype. That's right. And now, watch this. Get ready, pal, first time, 2013, get ready for the men's group. That's right. My husband is starting a men's group on Facebook. Um, it's going to be good. When is it? When is it? Well, it's coming. It's coming sometime. Yeah, it's coming soon. It's coming it, soon. It, it's been put on his heart to do for a while. Yeah, since last year. Since last year. But I didn't want to just, uh, I didn't want to make it like just any old group. I wanted to, I wanted to be intriguing. Um, I wanted to be, uh, um, what's the word? I'm thinking, I forgot the word. I want to be edifying. I wanted to be uh, resourceful. I wanted to be mind bending. I, I wanted to really. Uh, be heart wrenching, you know. I really want uh, men to be, I mean, uh, really intrigued. Uh, some of the men might get offended. Well, if you get offended, it's because you haven't grown spiritually yet. So, so it's just like it's just like Jesus. Jesus said a lot of things, but and, and Jesus said nothing but truth. So, if whoever got offended, you know, uh, too bad because that's what Jesus Jesus spoke the truth. He wasn't gonna hold back. He wasn't gonna hold back with these ten just because those five over there get offended right, or, or hold will back. Offend, so. Right, it's gonna, it's gonna, and uh, offend. But <clears throat> he also said, "Blessed is he who, who is not offended in me." You know, with God, with everything Jesus said was the truth. He said, "You shall know the truth, and the truth shall shall make you free." That's Jesus right. is the truth. He said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life." That's right. No man coming unto the Father but by me. So everything uh, Jesus said, um, you know, um, uh, he he he. It was it was the truth, and we're going to do strictly uh, the Word of God. We're not going to deviate like the Bible series did. We're not going to be talking about <laughs> nobody dropping nobody through a roof, <laughs> landing on Jesus' head, knocking him out. He you didn't know, land on you know, Jesus. Um, we we didn't see it. We only watched and yeah. uh, barely made it through an hour. And, yeah. And hey, if y'all watched it, okay, we're not we're not saying you shouldn't have watched it or whatever. We're not dogmatic in that. We're just it bothered us. We wanted to, we were so excited about it when we I think we found out the same day that it aired, right? Yeah, and then and then my thing is I'm tired. I'm so tired of Hollywood messing up biblical films. I'm so tired. You know they already mess up uh, uh, superhero films as it, as it is. They don't stay true to the comic. But but that doesn't bother me as much as when a biblical film comes on TV. It's like what? What Bible are they reading? <laughs> Did they go to the moon and get a Bible? My son just saw a Bible floating around. Ah, huh. here you son. Let's and take from that. I have got to say this, honey. Have y'all ever noticed that um, it's only the word of God that people take, pick apart, make fun of, do wrong? They will never touch the Quran. And yeah. and and make I think they made like a quote unquote gay Bible. They would never do that to the Quran. Never. They would never do that to any other book out there except the Holy Bible. People poke fun at marriage, at 
um, being single and celibate mean being a virgin. People poke fun of the right things, yeah. the truth. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. y'all, so we're not saying don't watch it, whatever, because we know a lot of believers uh, like ourselves who watched it and was like, whatever, but they still watched it up. Yeah. It, does, it, it wasn't a sin to watch it. No, it's not a sin to watch it, but it, but you know what? You still need to know the truth. And right. matter of fact, look if y'all have it, look in the Word. Look in the Word and see. Go to that story in the Bible that you saw and see if that, if that's really what happened. See if those angels in Sodom and Gomorrah really pulled out swords and started whooping people. See if they, see if they really ran up to Lot's house and said, "Please help us. Somebody's after us. Come on, help." No. They were fighting like wow. they were a kung fu movie. Dude, yeah. that sword, yeah. sword out. One of them looked like Jet Li, and the <laughs> other was 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 uh, a Black. brother from another planet. <laughs> That's a movie. I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was... So, if anything, I hope what it did, I hope it made people get in the word so they could see, wait, yeah. that's not how it was. And then you will begin to see why Hollywood does do, do the things they do. Yeah. They don't want people to know the truth. They don't want it to offend. But the yeah. truth, like my husband said, it will offend. The truth has offended me. Mm -hmm. And then I was, when, and, and then when I got before the Lord, I realized why it offended me. It's because I wasn't spiritually mature, spiritually mature in that area, and I wasn't ready to give up what it was that was required of me to give up. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. She's talking. Did y'all hear what she said? She said that's right. <laughs> um. Oh. Her but you know what? Came on. Uh, Go ahead. But you know what? What uh, people, when when people are convicted. And they haven't haven't quite gotten to the point where uh, they've come to the truth yet, and come to uh, submit to the truth, and and come to the realization. That's what I'm trying to say. That that they were wrong. They continue to argue. Continue to argue. But I, and I've done this before. My wife tell you a long time ago. I'm just going, just going, just going, 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 going. And 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 uh. Hmm? Huh? Oh, she was about to say she's never done it, but boy, oh boy, no. <laughs> but but she but no. But I'm I just, just I'm just going. I just said I never. <laughs> I I just just going and going and going, and all the time, all the time, the truth just just biting you, just biting away at you, just biting away. But you still are. No, but this this is not how it went. This is how it goes. That's how it goes. And all the time, the truth just eating on you, just picking at you, and you like, no, that's how it goes. That's how. That's how. Shut up. Okay. Uh. <laughs> You know, went to a whole movie. Quick scene from Hurricane. Okay, y'all, we just we're anyway. just supposed to be giving y'all some updates of what's yeah. going on, and we want to talk to, to y'all about something. Um, what was it? Um, 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 um. See y'all. We don't have no cue cards. It's the bones. That is not. What I we ate were all those bones. Okay, we were talking me about. Um, we want to talk to you singles really quick, especially those. We want to talk especially uh singles period, but especially single ladies just real quick. Um, cause we've been noticing, we've been getting these comments that I'm about to say for how, how long has our page been? Two years now. We've been uh, a year and a half. We've, our page has been up two years, but, um, most of many of you who are on it now came within the last year and a half. And one of the things when anytime a post is from my husband or we're talking to men and whether it's husbands or single men, we'll get a lot of different ladies on different posts. That says that is true, but not Nigerian men. <laughs> and I know y'all are probably like, uh, y'all don't live there, so how do y'all know? Okay, we've talked to many of you all, and we can only go by uh, two things: what the accounts that come from talking to many of you, and yeah. the word of God. Yeah. When you say all men in Nigeria or not, that can't be a Nigerian man that forgives a woman for a wife for cheating. It can't be a Nigerian husband who. Uh, will listen to his wife and and because it's maybe common in your area I don't know because we don't live there but just just to let you all know when you say that and you group all men together and, or group all type men like Nigerian men together what you're basically saying and be very careful with this because what you're saying is God can save any man but Nigerian men you're saying God has power and can do anything all over the world but Nigeria when it comes to men you have to remember in the um, in Kings was it First Kings or Second Kings? We we should know this because um, it's been quoted so many times. I had um, he said I've I've reserved about around seven thousand have not bowed down to Baal. Well, mm -hmm. remember the Old Testament is the shadow 
was the shadow of things to come, of what's to come, you know, Christ coming down on the cross. Mm -hmm. So know that if, if um, Christ started out with 12 and sent them to disciple, to make disciples, know that those disciples are probably going to be around the entire world. And, and it may only be a few that are make, starting to make disciples in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Know that there are men in Nigeria and in wherever you are, there are godly men there, and not all of them are married. Not all of them are fornicating. Not all of them are liars or cheats or thieves or bombs that won't work. Many of those men are serving the Lord. You yeah. just have not seen them yet. Yeah, you can't say all men. It's just like if I get attacked by a white person and get beat up, or a group of white guys get beat up, say all oh, white people are terrible. Or, right. or if you, or if you, uh, vice versa, a white person get attacked by. Uh, jumped on by some black men. Oh, black black men are horrible. Blacks are just terrible. You know that. And when when you have an experience in a certain way, then you want to start saying everybody in that certain group is that way. And no, because in Ezekiel it talks about God taking out a stony heart and giving you a heart of flesh. So so God can humble. He can save. He can set free. He can deliver. That's right. Amen. So, Amen. so it can be a Nigerian man, it can be a French man, it can be a Arab man, a That's Arabian. Right. It can be, it can be an Indian man, a black man, white man. I'm not gonna say purple and rainbow. There's no There's such no color. Such. It, it can be the the yellow man, which is the Asian uh, race. It can be, it can be Hindu. It could be West Indies. It could be, it could be, uh, I don't any, anywhere. Oh, we you have know. a Facebook friend. We've never met in person who is strong in the Lord. He used to be a Muslim for years. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was strong. And he is now a believer. So please don't tell us all men yeah. are, are, don't, because that's like saying what God cannot do. But we're mm -hmm. here to tell you what God can and will do. Right. He can touch the hearts of men. The, it's, it, the word says that, uh, Jesus said, if my name be lifted up, I will draw. So, Remember, if you wanna, if you want to see more men saved in your area, ladies, not just for the sake of marriage, but for the sake of the kingdom, um, pray that the Lord draws them. Pray. I mean, it's for women too. You can pray. Pray. That's one of the prayers that we pray. Um, Lord, we just pray that you draw those who you want to draw, whoever that is. And if you want to use us, Lord, please send us so we can share the gospel with them. And oftentimes when you share the gospel with someone uh, that God leads you to share it, to, to those to share it, I'm saying, let me say that right. Oftentimes when God leads you to share the gospel with someone, God is leading you to that person because their hearts are ready to hear the gospel because he has already drawn them. They can't, no one can even come to the Father unless they are drawn by God. They can't even come and they have to come through the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Um, be careful with grouping. And men, we've seen some comments from you all as well saying um, uh, women don't want to submit or black women don't want to submit or Nigerian don't want to submit. They're feminists and all that. Listen, um, again, do not group men or women or a certain race or certain parts of the world all together. Okay, that's saying that God cannot get through to those women. And be careful with the, saying that anyway because... That's a form of pride. That's because you basically what you're saying is God saved me. He saved me, but he can't save them. That's pride. You're lifting up yourself and saying that, hey, I'm better. I'm better. I'm, I'm, I'm with the Lord because he saved me and I allowed him to save me, but they haven't. They don't. Um, so don't. So just be careful with grouping people together and, and, and in a sense discriminating and saying, oh, that's good. This word is good and it's true, but Nigerian women won't. Or that's true, but black women will not. Because that happens a lot here where we live, especially with black women. They'll say, you know, I've had some men say that to me, say, well, you're rare because black women all they want to do is, is do this, put their men down and won't submit. And I'm sitting there like, you, you don't know all black women. You may have seen a lot where you're from, but you have not been around those wives who are for real about the Lord and for real about um, honoring their husbands as the head of their lives and submitting according to the word of God, bless you, and praying for their husbands instead of always wanting to argue. And 
And hey, I still have areas that I have to work on. So I'm totally, I'm not perfect. I'm not there yet. Um, God is still doing a, an awesome work, I believe, in me because he's awesome. So what other kind of work can he do in us but an awesome work, right? Okay, so just remember, let's not group um, everyone together. And I really, we really wanted to share this with singles because some have given up hope that they will never get married or they will never find um, someone that's, right for them because they don't see a whole lot of these people where they live 